Hello everyone, this is Robin here from Zoho Books. Thank you for joining our webinar on how Zoho Books can aid your business growth and increase your productivity as well. So before we get started, the current audience comprises of users who were earlier using WAVE as their primary invoicing or accounting solutions or users who have signed up for Zoho Books right out of WAVE's portal. The goal of this webinar is to help all of you take full advantage of one year free plan offered by Zoho. Uh, besides this, I also wanted to remind you uh, that users that were accepting online payments from Stripe in WAVE are on strict deadline right now as you would not be able to send Stripe enabled invoices and WAVE's connection with Stripe will end on 30th of June. So it's a timely reminder to move your books of accounts from WAVE to Zoho Books if you haven't already. And if you have already signed up for Zoho Books without signing up for WAVE, then well and good. Make this your primary accounting solution. With that, once again, thank, thank you for joining me today. Let's get started. So how do you get most of Zoho Books? Zoho Books has powerful, it's powerful accounting solution for even for enterprises. You can also automate your repetitive task. You can accept online payments, you can collaborate with n number of users and integrate with ecosystem of apps. So let's see how each of these things help you aid your business growth. So first let's go with the powerful accounting part. With Zoho Books, all your basic accounting needs are sorted. You can create and send quotes to your customers. You can provide discounts in line items or for the entire transactions, add shipping charges, associate a salesperson with the transaction and send the quote to your customer. Once the customer approves the quotation, you can convert it to an invoice with a single click. You can go ahead and directly create an invoice as well. There's nothing stopping you from doing so. Now, uh, let's say for some reason, one of the products that is delivered to your customer is defective or broken in transit and the customer asks for a refund. You can easily create a credit note for the same and in the next invoice of the customer, you can subtract the amount of credit note and send invoice for the rest of the amount owed by your customer. Now, let's. Uh, every business has its own expenses and keeping track of these expenses could become complicated in a very short time. Uh, with Zoho Books, you can keep track of all your business expense and categorize it as well. So, at any given point of time, you can see and optimize most of your expenses. You can also create bills for items that you purchase from your vendors. And as soon as bill is saved with the quantity of items, your inventory is automatically updated to reflect the latest count of items. Uh, invoicing uh, customers that are that uh, are not in your primary country of residence or primary uh, re residence of your own uh, personal residence is very tedious. So invoicing customers in their own currency has never been easier. With Zoho Books, you can add, just add a customer with a base currency and add any transaction that you create will automatically convert, automatically will be converted into a base currency of your customer. So in this uh, screenshot, you can see uh, my primary residence is India and my customer is in US or Australia. Uh, so whenever I create, add an item to, it, uh, to him, it uh, automatically takes up the latest exchange rate and converts the item based on that. Now, uh, let's talk about the reporting features in Zoho Books. Uh, Zoho Books has over 40 reports to manage your cash flow, your payables and receivables. It also creates a profit and loss statement and balance sheet as well. You can find out sale that has happened per item, aging summary of your receivables and much more. These reports are extremely powerful and a single dashboard gives you a complete visibility of your business and detailed reports give you visibility into specific aspect of your business such as sales, expense, receivables, inventory and so on. Do check out, check out our report system in the application to familiarize and take advantage of this added information for your business. Now coming to the dreaded part, the taxes. Uh, tax compliance is one of the key area for all of the businesses. Zoho Books is tax compliant in various regions as you can see on screen. It also has tax summary report for all regions. This helps businesses stay tax compliant without any tedious effort from their end. 
Zoho Books takes care of your taxes so that you can take care of your business. Now moving on to the next part. This is uh, this part that tells you how you can manage your payments effortlessly. While invoicing your clients, you can simply set payment terms and due date so that you can follow up with the customers easily before or after the due date has expired. You can easily select the number of terms that you want to give your customers. You can give it net 10, net 15 or you can have a custom term per based on the client. That's entirely up to you. Now uh, there are also wide variety of uh, payment options you can offer your customers. Offline, online, uh, in offline you can have a cash and check, in online you can have wire transfer, credit card, debit card and you can record all of them seamlessly. Zoho Books is um, integrated with some of the major payment gateways like Stripe, PayPal and depending on your country of choice you have uh, different other payment gateways. Uh, please check the payment gateway supported in your region and enable them to experience the benefit of digital payments. Now um, assume your customer makes an online payment through the payment gateway. You can automate uh, Zoho Books to send a payment thank you note or choose it to send it manually when you record it offline. Uh, next is uh, with Zoho Books you can also record partial payments, bulk payments and collect advanced payments that can be applied on future invoices as well. It's that easy. Uh, now moving on to automating uh, repetitive tasks. So uh, Zoho Books lets you, lets you uh, automate um, various repetitive tasks like uh, payment reminders, recurring uh, invoices, uh, scheduling invoices and uh, scheduling reports to be sent to your inbox. You can uh, set up uh, payment reminders for your customers. For example, the first day after the due date could be the first reminder. 10th day could be the second reminder and 20th day after the payment due date could be the third and final reminder. Uh, some transactions are uh, recurring in nature. Um, you can set up recurring invoice for your customers who purchase product on a monthly basis or at regular intervals. You can select the frequency as you may see, uh, see fit. Uh, more and more service companies have been using these features to automate their uh, recurring transactions. Uh, now uh, you know what kind of invoices are going to come this month from particular customers. You can easily schedule these invoices to go and uh, fall in the customer's email. So Zoho Books lets, also lets you schedule invoices as per your convenience. You can create invoices for the customer uh, for the month and schedule the invoices to go out when it's necessary. So it's more like you schedule or you create all the invoices in the first uh, week of the month. And then you just schedule it to scatter across the entire month and as in when it's due you can just send off the invoices. Uh, now uh, moving to the next part, uh, monitoring uh, your uh, business performance on a regular basis is important. Uh, you can easily solve this by scheduling a report to be sent to your inbox. Uh, just choose a report, select the date and time along with your email id and additional recipients and choose the file format that you want the report in. You might want it in a PDF format so nobody is able to edit it or something like that. Uh, and uh, uh, you will receive this uh, report based on the frequency that you choose. You can have a weekly, monthly or every bi-monthly report depending on how you choose the frequency you set up over here. Um, next uh, part would be how you can take advantage of collaboration with uh, your colleagues and accountants uh, to use Zoho Books to, the f to its fullest. So you can collaborate with uh, your users and accountants over here. So Zoho Books allows you to invite your colleagues and accountants to help you collaborate with them. You can add users and assign a role that is predefined or you can also assign a custom role that you create in Zoho Books. You can uh, give access to all the modules or you can give access to none of the modules. And after you've created this custom role, you can also edit this role to give uh, give access based on what the, what you're currently doing. You might uh, give access to uh, an, uh, your uh, accountant for all the modules at this point of time but after you're, do you're done with filing taxes and everything you don't want him to have access to all the modules you can just change them so you can edit these roles as, as in when you see fit. Uh, so this is the collaboration part you can use this uh, extensively to take advantage of uh, uh, Zoho books. Now moving on to the next part, you can uh, collaborate uh, uh, after the collaboration part I mean uh, you can integrate with an uh, ecosystem of uh, apps. So Zoho Books integrates with a slew of application 
um, that can help you reduce manual data entry and provide you contextual information to help your sales, support and other employees to work more productively. For instance, uh, the Zoho CRM integration with Zoho Books uh, gives a salesperson insights into customers past orders, payments, which helps them prepare well for their sales outreach. Uh, next would be the Zoho Desk integration. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, your support team uh, can get insights into customers current purchases, order status and also allows your finance team to build the time tracked in support easily. With other productivity apps like Slack, uh, Zoho Click, instant notification like quote acceptance, comments on invoice or payments made can be shared to teams immediately. Uh, with the Office 365 uh, G Suite integration, you can import contacts and users easily. Uh, you can have all your contacts synced with your Google account and you can import all the account, all the all, all your business accounts to Zoho Books in few clicks. Uh, we have tons of other apps. Uh, we have just highlighted few of them here. Um, you can take your time to explore them. On the last row, you see, uh, last uh, row you can see the all the payment gateways that you are uh, that we are uh, integrated with. We have Easy Pay, Go Cardless, PayPal, Razor Pay, PayTabs. These are based on your regions, and you also have Stripe for all the regions that they are active in. Uh, so take your time. You can explore uh, them and see how it can create a great impact on your business. There's tons more uh, to add for how Zoho Books can dramatically improve your accounting experience. You can find all of them on our website and help document. Uh, now let's uh, move on to the demo section of the webinar. Uh, for beginners, first let's take a look at the dashboard. Uh, this is where you can find the total receivables, payables and your current cash flow, uh, your top expenses. Overall, this gives you a snapshot of your business. On the left pane, you can see all the modules that you have that you can use for your business. You have the items module, you have the sales module, you have the purchases in the accounting module. So all these are uh, for you to access and uh, utilize for your business. Um, on the under this gear icon, you can find the uh, settings module. Uh, do play around with this uh, and you can find a lot of hidden gems that can help you increase your productivity. In this demo, we are going to see a few of these hidden gems. First, uh, let's take a look at the payment reminders. Uh, you can manually send reminders to your customers to pay for invoices. However, we recommend automating these reminders. Under the settings menu, click on reminders section. Uh, you can set up multiple uh, reminders to remind yourself about follow up or remind your customers directly. Choose the reminders to send before or after the due date. Uh, completely customize the email as per your needs and make it dynamic by including placeholders as well. And don't uh, forget to include payment links as well. Uh, so you can see the automated payment reminders over here based on the due date. Uh, you can turn them on. Uh, you can select your from address. Uh, you can uh, remind uh, before, like how many days after the due date or before the due date. You can, let's say the due date is on uh, 10th of May. You can start reminding from 5th of May. So you can just select five days before the due date. You want to remind this customer about something. So you can just select before and uh, select five days over here. You can uh, add anybody to CC, any of your contacts. You can add somebody to BCC as well. And... Uh, uh, have placeholders like this. You can insert different placeholders that you want to insert over here and enable the reminder. You can just click save and uh, your reminder one is remind me after five days before the due date. Now you can also uh, turn this on uh, the second reminder. So you can have uh, the from address and uh, you can have 15 days after the due date. And you can uh, uh, include other placeholders the similar process. So this is how you can enable uh, pay payment reminders so that your customers can pay you before or like before the due date. So your cash flow remain you remain cash flow positive as such. Um, now uh, you can also include payment links in the payment reminders so that uh, customers can include these uh, like pay directly through these payment reminders to you. So they they when the moment 
they see the payment reminder they just go to the uh, email they select the uh, payment gateway and uh, make you the payment and you receive the payment online it's very simple now uh, let's take a look at the uh, second hidden gem for us that's the reorder point for inventory uh, for this first we need to enable uh, this in the settings module so first go to the settings module uh, then the preferences in preferences please select the items module and uh, select uh, notify me if an quantity reaches below the reorder point so once you select this and you can select the email id uh, and you can just select save so next time when your item goes below the reorder point it automatically sends you an email to order more items uh, so i'll show you this in live uh, let's say you have an item you create a new item um let's say i'm creating uh papers i want to buy some papers like it's uh, good uh and i want to sell some papers so you can just buy in uh, box format and uh selling price let's assume it's thousand rupees a, a box and uh, like and your purchase price is around 750 or something like that um, this is just rough numbers and you, you click track items for this num uh, inventory you can select the account which it goes to you can select the opening stock if you have any if you don't have any it's fine i'm just going to select 10 and uh, cost of the item uh, stock uh, opening stock per unit i'm just going to assume the same amount 750 just for uh, calculation sake and a reorder point since i've enabled this the reorder point is already there let's say my stock drops below 5 it automatically set, like i uh, 5 is the reorder point if it drops below 5 it automatically sends you an email to reorder this uh, uh, item. You can also select a preferred vendor if you want to. I have like one vendor right now since it's a new account that I've created. And you can just select him and uh, you can just click save. So every time uh, the quantity of this order, the quantity of this product goes below 5, you get an email and it automatically lets you know that you have to order this to your vendor and your vendor can select it. Uh, this might be 100 stocks that you have and when it goes below 50 and you know it will sell out in a day or two and your uh, vendor is uh, delivering this in a day or two uh, you can easily just uh, ask uh, your vendor to uh, send these goods to you uh, now next the third hidden gem is approval flow for transactions uh, some companies have uh, a hierarchical structure some companies don't so uh, every sales transaction that is recorded in uh, zoho books can be sent through an approval process to enable this go to the settings uh, and then go to preferences and select the approvals tab here you can see sales approval so <coughs> excuse me anytime you create a sales transaction you can uh, submit it and uh, submit it for approval if it's rejected you can uh, uh, you have to re -go, to go through that again you can also have a hierarchical case uh, approval structure you can create a sales uh, transaction you can submit it you can have uh, multiple approvers after it's approved only then it gets uh, sent to the it gets recorded in the system so you can have an uh, enable you can enable your sales um, approvals you can all the approvers can approve uh, hold on all the approvals can approve uh, send an email and in-app notification when the transactions are submitted you can pick and choose how you want the notification and notify the you can also notify the submitter let's say your salesperson is submitting this approval transaction to you you can notify yourself for this and uh, uh, the, the submitter gets a notification that this sale uh, this uh, transaction sales approval sales has been approved and he can go ahead with the process so this was the transaction approval or sales approval process uh, now uh, many firms are big on customizing the invoice to fit their requirements you can do this with zoho as per your firm's requirement to do this uh, first click on the settings icon again uh, choose the templates uh, here you can uh, uh, customize various transactions uh, to your own preference let's take a look at uh, customizing these uh, uh, invoices you can edit the existing uh, invoice uh, this is a basic spreadsheet template or standard template you can edit them or uh, the way you want to uh, or you can create a completely new template over here 
from scratch you can pick and choose uh, any of these as base templates and keep making changes as and when you want to uh, so this this is how you can customize your uh, uh, invoices uh, or you can also you also have choice of uh, customizing any of these things you can send uh, estimates or quotations you can send sales orders your delivery challenge your credit notes everything can be customized to fit your brand identity so that's a very easy with uh, zoho books uh, last thing on today's agenda is the client portal um, the client portal in zoho books is a dedicated space for your customers to view and manage all their transactions it provides them more control over actions such as accepting estimates or paying invoices from one place now let's see how we can set it up for one of your customers uh, after you create a customer uh, go to the customers profile uh, and uh, select uh, more and click on configure client portal now I select his name and uh, set up a part of portal password for this person like uh, Ryan D temp at one and once you click save yeah uh, the invitation is sent to uh, this particular customer and uh, they'll have to accept to join the portal so uh, I've already set it up for my personal email ID so I'll just show you how it looks like for your customers so I've logged in over here so you can see the outstanding in the your, this is what your customers would be seeing they can see the outstanding invoices the last payment that was made pending approval of two estimates I can just go to the estimates and see what those uh, estimates are and uh, your customers can see this and they can just accept it and uh, you'd get a notification over here it's seamless and uh, let's say I decline the other invoice that uh, estimate that I have I just go over here I decline uh, please uh, be send with, uh, some discount I think that do decline and what happens is I get another notification that says that I will, this person has declined this particular estimate so uh, once you have set it up on the client portal your customers would be able to uh, collaborate with you on the estimates and approve them or decline them you can check when a customer has viewed your invoice your customers are enabled to pay uh, all the invoices from a single place provided you have configured a payment gateway you can uh, submit your time entries uh, for your approval before you invoice them and uh, get reviews from your customers about your business uh, interact and uh, discuss with customer over real time uh, with comments over you can just add a comment uh, about something so that's that's how it works so uh, let's see what's uh, next from here so if you're new to zoho books you can explore our uh, uh, resources page let me show that to you <clears throat> yes you can uh, check out our resource page uh, let's you can ch change the edition to show which uh, one to like it checks via IP so it's on this edition you can just change the edition to let's say uh, Australia and you'd have uh, resources depending on your region you can check our uh, forums which is our uh, community portal and you can get answers to many questions over here and we regularly post updates over here as well so this is a community portal um, you can check our uh, resources page yeah so this is our uh, resources page you can find your uh, docu help documentation FAQs videos migration guides blogs essential business guides this is com very detailed it has everything that you need to know about the product to learn about the product uh, and you always can reach out to us to have uh, clarify any of the questions check out keep checking out our forums for any updates as well also please check out our youtube channel we constantly post videos over there with respect to product updates tax related updates or uh, uh, webinars on how you can make your uh, life much easier with zoho books your business much um, 
uh, efficient, more efficient with Zoho Books. So yeah, next would be uh, to users who are uh, who are uh, migrating from uh, Wave to Zoho Books. So if you haven't migrated already, please migrate as soon as possible before your Stripe connection ends. And if you're looking for any help with uh, migration, reach out to a support team. Also, if you're looking uh, for any further guidance on migration, do let me know on the chat box uh, so that uh, we'll arrange a webinar for you, which details the migration process end to end. And uh, we can schedule, have it scheduled as soon as possible. So with this, I'd like to end and uh, uh, next would be the Q&A session. So we have our uh, team to answer all your questions for next 20 minutes, uh, 20, 25 minutes. We'll be answering all your questions that you might have in the questions chat box. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today.